because they said somebody was smoking in the bathroom. All right, so today on how, uh, today's topic, uh, actually let's go over what did I do today first. All right, so today, today what did I cover? I covered Surface Designs working on storyboard cutouts for their paper cut story thing. Uh, and I've got my ceramics classes, they're working on a whole bunch of slab stuff. I know it's like the same thing every day, I understand that, but it's one, but you know, it's the way things work sometimes. All right. Uh, today and how not to suck at teaching uh just i had one of those meetings again tonight the the once a month late night meetings where i stay really late talk to a whole bunch of teachers about how it's going to get better don't jump off the cliff it's it's going to get better so today's so today's topic and how not to suck at teaching is going to be professionalism and the reason that we're going to go over professionalism is uh, because as we're going through and i'm, I'm talking about these teachers about how to these strategies helped me. The, this was, I had a very similar situation to what you had. Uh, a lot of that stuff revolved around us having a teacher calling, a having to call parents and call um, email administrators, write referrals, and about how there's a level of professionalism that you have to have at all times. Now, me, I'm, I've always had this, uh, I've done this for several years. Um, I call a student when I have students. I call them by their last name only, uh, and it's it's a for me. And with older students, it's always been beneficial because this is how the world is going to talk to you. This is how the world is going to approach you and converse with you and create and have that those conversations. I don't want you to think for a minute that this is anything less than a professional situation, and that you need to maintain those. Um, that behavior that's recognizable as a as a professional behavior. With the same thing said, you're talking to parents. Now, parents don't call their kids by their last name. So, uh, I've always had a struggle with. I, I need to make sure that the kid's name somewhere in front of me, so that when I call a parent, I can reference it. having but establishing that professional relationship with the parent as well. I always call a parent, ask them how their kid is doing in another class first. That's the first thing I always do. Um, do it for a couple reasons. Some that I'm not sharing here in case some of my students watch this because um, it happens over time. You know, you put enough videos out there. Uh, but then with my students, um, always find out what's going on with them first because something might be going on that's outside of your class. It's nothing that you did, nothing that they did inside of your class, but because of ex uh, outside circumstances, I want to give them that chance to figure out if that's what's the, what's the reason. Uh, but always have that professional level with the parent because you're having to talk to a parent about the uh, something that they probably already know. If you were calling about a, uh, a kid who's got some behavior problems, you're probably not the first teacher to call about the behavior problem, but you definitely want to make sure that it's one of those things where, oh, it's new to me and it should be new to you too, and I'll have that, that level with them. But So there's that professional courtesy. Now, the other, other line of professionalism is that these students and their parents are your clients and you don't want to uh, infringe upon your lack of professionalism and demean a client that's just not going to be beneficial old dude just about hit me so i make sure that that professionalism is there 24 7 uh when i do emails when i talk to my students when i, when I however i'm conversing i always have that professional level there now i do have a joking personality and i do and i am uh not you know stern and constant that way but i, I have that person personability uh charisma is what we used to call in the olden days and i like to and i and i showcase that because that that puts a person at ease more because you don't want a student who doesn't want to come to your classes uptight all the time i want to i want to give that air of i am somebody who if you do have a problem you can talk to me however uh you are a student you are nothing but a student i will never ever let that line come into play because I, I'm not going to entertain that. I'm, I, uh, I had to say this a couple times over the last a couple days. Students ask me, uh, they keep, I think students always want to know about your personal life. I am very, very transparent in how I am with my students, with my, uh, with staff, whoever I'm involved with at school, because at school, they only see one version. Outside of school, I'm not that version. I am not um, 
I'm, I'm, a, I'm a completely different person. I think that's extremely important, especially in the school situation, because I never for a, for a moment want my students to think that we are anything other than student and teacher. That is never a thought inside their mind. And I've had several students tell me, uh, Mr. G, you know, there's, you're someone I can talk to and we can, and we can talk, uh, but you, you are the teacher and, uh, and that, that line is, is so in your face 24 seven that for me, that's, that's a, that's a brag. That's something I can promote because, uh, I always have that level of professionalism with my students, with staff, everybody, because I don't want those worlds to cross because for me, crossing those two worlds, your business life with your personal life is nothing but problems. And I'm never going to have that problem because I don't want to entertain that problem. And thus, it's not a problem for me. All right. So, again, wrap up. Keep your personal life out of your business life, your business life to yourself. Make sure that you are uh, keeping everything professional. Uh, I think this is one I'm going to probably make into two vlogs today. Other than that, I will see you guys next class. Ciao.